I will also go over the Capra method because that's also one of the uh, questions that I get asked a lot, especially how come it works. I will show you. But let me just uh, impress you guys first how we can get the A and C value. Okay, let, let me just impress you guys. So this is how the Capra method is going to work. I can get the A value right away because the denominator here is x plus 1, which I have the same exact one right here. So what I can do is, I can go back to the original, and I will cover this up. And you have to ask yourself, how can you make that factor equal to 0? How can you make x plus 1 equal to 0? Well, the answer to that is, let x equals to negative 1. Well, once you cover this up, remember x is equal to negative 1, and plug in negative 1 into this x now, and work this out. 1 over negative 1 plus 2 in the parentheses and square. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1, and the square that is 1. 1 over 1 is 1, so this right here is 1. Done. And in fact, we can also do the same for C. Right? And once again, A is just because we let x equal to negative 1, and then you see this is 1 over negative 1 plus 2 squared, and you end up with 1. Okay? We can do the same for c, because this right here has the same denominator right here. I get to cover this up from the original, because this and that are the same, right? I cannot do the cover up with b, because this is x plus 2. It's not exactly the same as 1 or second of that, okay? Anyway, to get c, I will cover this up, and remember, how can we make this factor equal to 0? I will have to let x equal to negative 2. So I'll just put this down. C is equal to the situation where you let x equal to negative 2. So in this case, I will work this out for you guys. It will be 1 over plugging negative 2 into the remaining part. Namely, just that. Negative 2 plus 1, which is 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. And we get a C value right away as well. Okay? So this is the quick way to do cover up. And you can also do it in your head because I did that in my head for A, okay? So keep that in mind. But remember this right here, okay? Remember this right here. And once you have the A and C value, you can just say that x equal to another number that you haven't used it yet. I can say that x equal to 0 because it's easy, and I can use this in the sense that I can plug in 0 into all the x, and then I can find out the B value. Let me do that for you guys real quick. So, 1 over 0 into the x, so it's 0 plus 1 times 0 plus 2 squared, and make that equal to 1 over 0 plus 1. I'm letting all the x equal to 0. You can let x equal to whatever you want, besides negative 1 and besides negative 2, because you used it already. And of course, you should pick an easy number, otherwise it's going to be crazy. Anyway. Plugging 0 into this x, we get plus b I don't know yet, right? And then 0 plus 2, and then plus c is negative 1 over uh, plugging 0 into here. We have 0 plus 2 squared. And you can work this out real quick. This is going to give you 1 over 4. This is 1 plus b over 2, and this is minus 1 over 4, right? And Seriously, you can do whatever you would like. You can, this is 1 over 4, equal to this and that is 3 over 4. And you can get the common denominator, which is plus 2b over 4. And by now, you should see b should be negative 1. Because 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 3 is 1, so that. So we get it. b is equal to negative 1. This is how the partial fractions with cover method work, right? This is the quickest way. Well, uh, I will explain why this works. This is how. Usually, you don't want to deal with an equation with a bunch of fractions, so what we can do is just multiply everything by the lowest common denominator. But that's kind of bizarre. If you have linear factors, do the following, yeah? Suppose I want to figure out what A is. You can just do the following. Look at the denominator, which is just x plus 1. I will multiply everything by x plus 1 only, okay? 
And of course, take this, distribute, 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 right? x plus 1 times this guy is just 1 over x plus 2 squared. And then x plus 1 times this is just a, okay? I'm explaining why the cover out method works. I know it is 1 already, okay? But anyway, check this out. When I take this, multiply this and that, nothing cancel out. I will still have the x plus 1, isn't it? So let me just put down plus b over x plus 2 times x plus 1, and then plus c over x plus 2 squared times x plus 1. And remember, earlier when we found a, we let x is equal to negative 1. Because I asked you guys, how can we make this factor equal to 0? Now you see, by letting, uh, we just put this down, by letting x equal to negative 1, well, I will just do 1 over negative 1 plus 2 squared, and the a is right here. And check this out. When I'm plugging negative 1 to here, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, that kills this term. Plugging negative 1 into here, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, that kills this term. So we just have plus 0 plus 0. So the b and c, they don't matter. And I just have a is equal to that. And that's exactly what we did earlier, isn't it? Okay. So you get a is equal to 1. And hopefully you can see it. If you want to figure out what c is, what do you have to multiply? You multiply by the same exact denominator, namely x plus 2 squared. And when you do that, this term will have x plus 2 squared. This term will still have one more x plus 2, right? So when you let x equal to negative 2, that will kill the b as well. Okay, so you should try that on your own. And in the end, you do see that, well, this is the quickest way to do it when we have uh, linear factors in the denominator like this. Okay, so it's like, uh, yeah, or if you would like, you can still do the, do, uh, the old fashioned way. Multiply everything by the lowest common denominator and then collect terms and then match coefficients. If this request, I will do that video for you guys. But yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. If you are new, please subscribe, okay? Subscribe for 2018. And wish you guys the best luck in your Calculus 2 class. But anyway, well, actually, maybe your pre-calculus as well. Anyway, as always, that's it.